Hey, this is Rob Storm from Super Boss Games, and in this Intruder series episode, we're talking about the new doors we've added to Intruder. Doors aren't really shown the love they deserve in video games. Many games do away with or just avoid them completely. Others scale them ridiculously large or make it so only your AI teammates can open them under special circumstances. As many of you know, however, doors have been an integral part of Intruder and its game design since the beginning. We believe that doors and the ability to interact with them in a multitude of ways is essential to a true tactical shooter or stealth experience. One of our most popular videos on this channel revolves around them. A quick recap for the uninitiated, doors and intruder have a few special features. Opening the door requires the use of the mouse wheel. Scroll down or back to pull the door open or towards you. Scroll up or forward to push on the door. Importantly, this feature lets you open doors at variable angles. Want to open only enough for your mirror camera to poke through? Sure. What about opening some double doors only slightly to provide yourself some cover while shooting down the hallway on cliffside? That's a good idea. Want to get in a tug of war? Tug of door? With the guard in the riverside bathrooms? Go for it. The tactical implications are endless. Beyond opening or closing doors, some doors might also be locked, requiring the use of your lockpick in order to open. Some of these are locked via keypad, though, so you'll need to find the correct key code in the map to get past them. Now, despite how great doors were in Intruder already, we want to make them even better. Introducing the new Intruders. These new doors help solve problems of the past doors while adding a nice graphical update and a few new features. And if you're an intruder map maker, all of this is available to you as well. By default, the official intruder maps were home to one door, the poorly named Glass Door 01. This wood and opaque plexiglass door was nice, but we wanted to introduce a bit more variety. The new door set includes four main door types and the ability to easily customize each for different situations. Let's go over some of them. One of our new doors finally fulfills its name by making the small glass window actually transparent as well as breakable. This opens up a few gameplay opportunities. Sure, you can peek into the room before entering, but how about poking your mirror camera directly through it for an even better view? You can then confirm your target and throw a grenade through the hole before entering. Our other full glass door presents new dangers. Being that it's almost fully glass, you can clearly see and shoot through it with ease. You can even get rowdy and smash it with your fists if you want. And for those less skilled lockpickers, it might even allow faster entry. Many people have asked about bullet penetration in the past, and with the new doors, certain weapons like the sniper rifle are capable of just that. Luckily, these new doors aren't restricted to just official maps. If you're an intruder map maker, you can use them in your creations. One of the biggest pains when using the old doors in map making was their scale. The original intruder door dimensions were based on feet and inches, but they weren't even matched up well with that. With Unity 3D using meters as its default units, map makers had to cut door holes with silly sizes like 0.922375 meters. It was inconsistent and made using third-party tools like Saber CSG difficult when matching measurements. The new doors fix all this while keeping true to the realistic scale Intruder is known for. The dimensions are now 1 meter wide, 2.25 meters tall, and 0.25 meters deep. Door frames come with each door, as well as an optional double door variant that measures two meters wide. When placing your new doors, first cut a one by 2.25 meter hole through your wall. Next, drag one of the door prefabs into the seam. Hold V to vertex snap this corner of the door frame to the hole, and you're all set. Doors are also customizable. Want bullet penetration from the SMG and pistol? Change the penetration settings in the advanced materials component. 
want a different look or color, feel free to change the textures and shader settings on any of the doors to achieve the graphics you desire. UV map references have also been provided. In the end, we hope these doors really add new gameplay dynamics and some visual flair to your intruder maps. Just make sure to keep those hinges nice and shiny though. Alright everyone, we hope you enjoyed this episode of the Intruder series. If you liked it and want to see more episodes, definitely like and subscribe. We'll be going over more about Intruder development, using Unity 3D, and game design in future episodes. If you're interested in playing Intruder, head over to intruderfps.com. The Intruder community and Mapmaker Discord chat is also at superbossgames.com slash chat. Let us know what features you want added or areas you think we should cover in the comments below.